Let's do another Meanwhile on Snapchat. And this one is nothing like any of my other Meanwhiles on Snapchat. And not just because of the cool background that I've got going this time, but this one, it's more of a manifesto. You've read the title, What If I Ruled The World? We're gonna go through how I'm gonna do things, how I'm gonna set things up, how I'm gonna rule you. I'm saying everything as if it's a foregone conclusion. Let's stick with if for now, but I think by the end of the videos, you can agree with me, it's gonna be a win. Let's dive in. What if I ruled the world. And you're going to say, is that a valid possibility, Chris? And I'm going to tell you that it is a very valid possibility that somewhere throughout the multiverse, there is a version of me that is a supervillain and is running that particular world. So yes, of course, there's a chance that I could run this world because of the precedence that's set in the multiverse. It's science. Don't question it. But would I be a supervillain? Well, I mean, that's what we're going to find out over the next couple days in this Meanwhile on Snapchat. I do love making decisions, naturally. You know this, everybody knows this. Well, at least they will soon. But it is a good fit for me. Some people don't like bossing other people around. And I don't have a problem with that. So far, so good. Now, there are some ideas that maybe don't have a lot of legs because I haven't researched them some, you know, extent that I should. But there are some things that I put in place. Like, for instance, I have an opinion on the communication of deaf people in the world. And you're going to say, why do you have this opinion on deaf people speaking? And I'm going to tell you none of your business. But my particular solution to the problem is going to be instated when I rule the world. So just look out for that if it affects you. But we need to talk about how I am going to rule the world because as a subject of mine, when you look up to me, you need to know in rock solid, no questionable terms, how I'm going to be ruling you. And we need to get into that, but not today. This is day one. This is plenty for day one. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We are looking at the very real possibility of me taking over and ruling this world. But before we get into how I would do that, the nuts and bolts of this meanwhile on Snapchat, let us take stock of what we have, what we know, and what we might have lost along the way. Yes, I'm talking about government cover-ups. So we know that the American government has a bit of alien stuff going on, possibly a crashed craft or some little green men locked up in Area 51, who knows? But we need to uncover and see what we have. And also, what we know, things like the Hall of Records in Egypt, you might not know this, but they've locked it up underneath the Sphinx. There's this whole history of what went on 20,000 years ago, maybe more than that, there was a big flood. You know what I'm talking about. I've made a whole meanwhile on Snapchat about that topic. But before the giants and everything get into this, we just need to understand what has been written down and what we do know. But there are things that have been lost to us because, you know, humans are a species with amnesia. And also, because the stupid archaeologists, they want to stick to their story about, oh, humans were here 6,000 years ago and then, you know, we made all the pyramids. No, idiots. Pyramids were there way before. We need to understand what we've lost to time. I know this is going to sound hypocritical, but first I, as the in-charge person, am going to understand everything. But I'm going to filter it down. It's not like governments of today where they keep things to try and have war with other governments. None of that when I'm in charge. People need to be happy. There's no wars going on. But first I'm going to understand the information and then I'll give it to you. Tomorrow, I think we probably need to get into those nuts and or bolts that I was talking about. I'll see you then. What are you going to do with all that power? All that power inside your tower? I'm going to get you love drunk and sneakily convince you to follow me. Now you worried that if you choose to follow me as ruler of the world, I'm going to turn into some sort of super villain because of your intuition and also the fact that I've said I'm going to do that. It is cute how you think you are in control still. I think 
that I could probably distract you in about 17 seconds straight, but your version's fun. Let's go with it. You do bring up a good point though, and so I should distract you with something that you love to hear, the truth. This is 100 and literally percent the actual three life values that I live my life by. Number one, I want to be happy. Number two, I want to have fun. And number three, I wish all other life well. Everything I do and think and say filters through those three life values. Now, we have spoken about how I would deal with the public domain area of things, aliens and giants and lost civilizations, uncover it all. Let those curious human beings amongst us that are interested in this stuff, explore it. See what there is to see. Stupid governments covering things up. And we will speak about how I will rule once I'm in charge tomorrow. For now, I think diligently, I probably do need to bring up the fact that it was very easy for me to distract you. You don't even remember what it is I was distracting you from, do you? Be honest. I think you should stop asking questions and just go with the flow. See you tomorrow. Let me stop me for a second there just to realize out loud with you, this isn't as serious as I thought it was gonna be, but we do have the last day coming up and this one is probably gonna get serious. You know how I do things, I sort of rope it together towards the end. That's most certainly what's gonna happen in this last video of this Meanwhile on Snapchat. So get ready, buckle in. This is gonna be a good one. We have all had a lot of fun this week, fantasizing through what some people have called the inevitable possibility of me ruling this world and you have been waiting diligently patiently even to hear how I am going to rule what decisions I'm going to make when that time comes and well eagle-eyed viewers amongst you might have noticed that I've been stalling because I live in the moment I don't plan ahead so I don't know what decisions I'm gonna make in the future that's future Chris's problem but as a compromise, because I'm a good ruler, I have given you over this week certain glimpses, looks into how I would do things when I'm ruling. For instance, we've learned that there is a 100% chance that somewhere in the multiverse, a version of me is ruling that particular world as a supervillain. But I'm not that cardboard cutout super villain. You've seen my life values. And if you look at your crib notes from yesterday's video, you'll know that the outcome of that is I'm a pretty happy person. I want people to be happy. So I'm not gonna be ruling in a rah, rah ruling kind of way. Now, my life values aside, let's get onto something that's quite important, consciousness, because if you know me personally, you know that it is my destiny given to me from the universe to unlock global consciousness in all humans. And you'd say, maybe you should have led with this in these videos, but I've got loads of videos on consciousness. I didn't want to talk about consciousness this particular time. Okay, but global consciousness is my destiny. Long story short, humans and the animals and plants on earth that have consciousness coming from the river of consciousness are gonna band together and create a higher level of consciousness. You might have noticed a similar thing in birds. When they fly around in those patterns, that's group consciousness, it's similar. I'm getting off topic. See, this is why I didn't wanna talk about consciousness. I'm gonna be ruling and I don't really know what I'm doing, so I think this video is, you know, maybe should have been a call for general, get some people in place, but uh, it's not. That's not what this video has been about. So we're not gonna have any generals. It's just gonna be me making the decisions. Oh, this doesn't seem like a good idea. Anyway, good to speak to you. I will see you again for another meanwhile on, no, actually, I'm gonna see you again in like two seconds when widescreen me comes back with a new fancy background. You know how it works. Come on, meanwhile's on Snapchat. Amazing. Past Chris really pulled it together. I had my doubts, you probably didn't. You had full faith in him. You know he always pulls it together. But me, I have my doubts about past Chris. But this time, past Chris, 
pulled it out the bag. Speaking about consciousness though, which we didn't speak about in these videos, consciousness is going to be a big thing going forward. So the Chris Adams TV podcast, do you listen to that? Season two coming up, all about consciousness. So get your ears around that if you want consciousness stuff. If your eyes want to work out, we're going to be doing consciousness stuff in the video format as well, starting with why the bleeding heck is the word consciousness so difficult to say? We need a better way of describing this experience that we have, that Mother Nature has given us this body and the river of consciousness has given us this mind and we live in the moment and then we call it consciousness. It's really, really ridiculous. Anyway, that's it for this video. This is now an end screen. You know what that means, the video is finished, but there's stuff that you can do. For instance, you can hit subscribe down below as a starter, but then get ready and deep dive into the videos up above with the featured videos starting there, and then you'll find your way. I trust you. See you soon.